So my first association with APEC started in 2004 when I was named principal at Salem Middle School. Um, I, I was at Salem for two years and then I moved, I graduated to Apex High School. And I was at Apex High School from 2006 until 2015. At that time, I transitioned to Apex Friendship High School. Um, in fact, we opened Friendship as a brand new school. So through those 16, 17, 18 years, there are a lot of memories that really um, stick out in, in my, my mind. One of the things about Apex um, is the community involvement in the school. And that was very, very apparent several times. Um, as the principal at Apex High, I'll never forget my first year there, we went to the state championship game in girls soccer. And I remember being at, at, the, at the field and looking over in the stands and thinking, you could go to any house in Apex today and just walk in because the entire town was there. And that was the, my, my first year. In uh, succeeding years, we had a state championship game in volleyball and in men's basketball. Both of those were in Reynolds Coliseum. And Reynolds Coliseum was full of Apex. And it was just such a, a celebration and such a um, fantastic feeling as a principal to see that many people there supporting the school and supporting the teams. Uh, an, another important memory for me um, came here at Friendship when we opened Friendship. And I'll never forget the first home football game we had, a gentleman came up to me and said that he was an, a neighbor here. He lived in the neighborhood and that he had gone to the original Friendship School, which was a Rosenwald school, which was built in the 20s for African-American students. And he said, Principal White, we want to have a, a sign put up recognizing that Rosenwald school. And for the next couple years, we worked really, really hard with the community, with the town, with the highway department, with just about everybody to make that come to fruition. And um, we actually, when you drive down the street, you can see that there's a historical marker designating the Friendship School as a Rosenwald school. So through those um, athletic activities, through that historical recognition of the past, um, those are things that really stand out in my mind. The other thing, I, I've got to just take personal preference, both of my girls graduated from Apex High School. And when you go through, when you're a principal, you're really proud of your graduates. But when I had two daughters who came through, walked across the stage, that was really special. So now um, the legacy of being a high school principal, just about anywhere I go, I run into students, uh, former students. When I was um, at Apex, I had kind of a catchphrase. Actually, I got it from one of our assistant principals. His name is Tony Wilson. And Tony always said, make it a great day. So I always concluded the morning announcements with make it a great day. About a month ago, I was at Costco and got all my things and the, the person was helping me put them in the box and as I was leaving, she said, make it a great day. And I thought, that's probably the greatest legacy that you can have is that to, for people to remember that, that that was my wish for them. So, so to me, that, that's apex. It's community involvement, it's recognition of our history, it's enthusiasm, and it's that optimistic spirit of making it a great day. Um, I think th the most important thing is that everywhere you go in Apex, there are um, things that remind you of key events, whether it's the water tower. Um, I just got a chai tea in Common Grounds downtown. When you drive by the state park, the skate park, and I remember when that was such a, a big deal that we had a, a mayor who um, went through the trouble of, of getting that skate, skate park. I think that um, when I come here to Friendship High School and see um, the hundreds of cars, it was interesting when we opened, um, we opened as a uh, overflow school for Apex High School. We opened in 2015, I think we had 945 students. Um, when I retired last year, we had 2,800. So, you know, that's Apex. Apex is um, very dynamic. It's growing. Everywhere I go, everywhere I drive, I see a new restaurant. 
I see new opportunities for businesses. And that to me is Apex. Apex is, is um, something that doesn't stand pat. It doesn't sit still. It's always growing. It's always dynamic. And again, as somebody who's seen the growth of Apex over the, the years, that's gratifying to me to see the direction that we're going in, that we're um, building the, all the fields, the field complex up there. For years, we had to go all the way to Cary, which is not far, but all the way to Cary to run cross-country meets. Now we'll be able to run meets there. So um, being the principal of a new school, um, th there's an elementary school now built right next door. That's very exciting because, again, when we built Friendship, there was really nothing out here open friendship, and then the middle school, and then the elementary school. So that's Apex. Apex is growing. Apex is dynamic. And um, that's why I feel such a big part of it, because I'm glad to be part of that growth. So again, as a um, recovering high school principal, what I can tell you is special is, um, I, I, I didn't do the exact math, but I think that I've probably handed diplomas to almost 10,000 students and every one of those 10,000 students has a future and every time I see one of them um, opening a business or in a, in a doctor's office as a doctor or I've, I've seen former students on the police force which was quite a <laughs> quite a shock some of the ones that are on the police force but that's a, d a different story but but thinking that all of those students who got their diplomas from me who I feel like I touched, every one of them is, is full of potential. And again, they're, they're too many to, to think about, but they're doing great things. And I, the social media, with all of its faults, I'm able, able to follow a lot of those kids on social media and see the great things that they're doing. They're becoming doctors and lawyers and inventors and, and educators. One of the most gratifying things that, that I've had is both at Apex High and now at Friendship, I've been able to hire former students of mine as teachers. And that's a full circle moment when you can see that. So that's what I, that's the future of Apex. The future of Apex is, is those 10,000 graduates, what they've done and what they're gonna do in the coming years. That is really exciting and, and I can't wait to see it. So one of the challenges when you open a new school is building a community and building a brand. It was especially challenging here because we pulled students from two very well established, very high functioning schools. Both Apex High and Holly Springs were successful academically, successful athletically, successful in the arts, and we were brand new. So that was, that was one of my biggest challenges was to create a brand and then to create a community. Um, there are a couple ways of doing that. And um, one way to create a, a community and, and a brand is through the arts, which we, we uh, when, when I left Apex High, one of the first teachers that I brought over was our band director, Paul Rowe, who had done such a fantastic job at Apex High. He came and immediately started a band culture here that was outstanding. And he's gone on and built that band into a, a, a power, statewide power. Um, the other obvious way is through athletics. Athletics a little bit harder. When we opened, with, again, with about 900 students, um, we were playing varsity in every sport except football. And so we, we got beat pretty badly in, in all of our sports the first couple years. <clears throat> but we've noticed in other new schools that opened, by that third year, you could be competitive. And so by our third year, we, we were competitive. And we were competitive right away in, in soccer, in volleyball. Um, football, again, because you have um, more students and really football is a, a sport of attrition, <laughs> it took a little longer, but it got to the point where we would compete with this um, trophy, kind of a fun trophy called the Backyard Brawl. And the winner in football got to keep the trophy and had their name on it. And um, I'll never forget the first year we won that. It was actually when Apex High was at green level because Apex High was being renovated. And um, we won that night at, at green level. It was the first time we beat them in football, and I'll, I'll never forget that. And there, in fact, there's a pretty famous picture that one of the teachers took of me going like this that was everywhere. But um, that 
rivalry developed into a rivalry in every sport. And so we, we started this tradition of when, when in one of the major sports, the winner, the, the mayor would light the water tower in school colors. And so now that's become a really good, healthy rivalry. And, and both, and again, I was the principal at Apex for nine years. Both of my daughters graduated there. We won multiple state championships. Apex is a great school. I feel like what Friendship was able to do though was to go from basically nothing to again being an outstanding, one of the best high schools in the county if not the state and establishing um, strong programs ac academically, in the arts and athletically. So this, this rivalry kind of sprung up from nowhere and now it's become very, very healthy. Um, sometimes the kids take it a little bit too far, but we do the best we can to, to help them to keep that in perspective. And to be honest, there is a healthy respect between both schools. And, um, and for me, it's gratifying because I, I, I had been both places. So I'm, I'm just proud of um, what the rivalry has become.